I have my Pompadour with me. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa, is that all? I, I think that the storm started, everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the whales, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Oh, what happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. No, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. All this destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason, and... I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Max. Hey. Be careful out there. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max.
We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. <sighs> Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. Sorry, to Rachel. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe, Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... you were completely paralyzed. And... and you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to... end your life. I did. For you, I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I... I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but... Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? Is that why you stuck up for him? Because you think he can help us, really? Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? 
We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked! It actually worked! You're with me again! It looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And... traveled through multiple realities just to... save my ungrateful ass over and over and... I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Ugh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is it stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I I'm back in class. Photography as he what the hell? Was. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and have our sorrow. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. To shadow. This From might be hell. To now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the human up. condition in black and white? A am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Victoria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Wait, 
Seriously, What's though, going on? I could frame any one of Nobody even dark cares? And capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Oh no. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I've been dreaming of the day when you would finally tell me. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Call me Mark. We need to play catch up on all the time we've wasted. Especially since there's nobody left in your life. I love you too, Max. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Hey, Kate. Max. How could you let me jump off a roof? You're the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate, I, I was only trying to save you.
this hall never ends. I, I better find something. I <laughs> Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder Maybe me. Maybe I'll be oh, safe God. in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. After everything I did for you, and you accuse me of making our sweet Naive Kate Marsh cry. Max. Art is oh, Max. You cry, and you will. Max! Max!
Max, rewind now! Max? Oh, Max! Max, Max. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here... Hello, Max. Max? Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention, I regret to announce that one of your fellow class- Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play, eh? Hey, babe, babe. What kind Who of wants to go ape? Go ape, go ape, babe. Max or her friend Chloe after this comes out. You dig Too my wheels, Max? Friends with the Get in the car. I'll take you for a Miss ride. Miss Price can't just show Get up at car. Blackwell in a wheelchair and think we're going you. to accommodate her every and whim. Hungry. Destroying the town. I wish I could press a button and blow this whole fucking school up. Hey, Max. Please, hey, man, come here. Max, you're just jealous so I can beat you up! Actually do the work while you do nothing I and whine. Come on, Max. Just admit Damn that you're it, Max. My service Wake up! Admit it! Giving her over and over. Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Rachel. Rachel and Max. If you took some of my drugs, maybe you'd be. Hey, wait, wait! If you took some of my drugs, maybe you'd be a lot happier. Rachel. Rachel Amber. Just Get like her last bony ass. And finally oh, see right through I'm her gonna skin. cut you open, and freak. Feel that cold, rotting flesh. Just because I If only you could have seen Rachel. My blood spattered. Me and Rachel are floating down here. In the oh no. Bottles. This might be hell. Since Kate is in Oh man, you should have heard Chloe smack talk you. It was brutal.
Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Wheels. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave, play nice, try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tastings. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on?